the woodpecker's tongue, the crocodile's jaw, and the voice, the woodpecker. Woodpecker is prophetically waggling once more his tongue at me. And don't you know, as usual, he's as loud yet cautious as he can be. I whistle and back at his remarks, and he snaps his head round. Then Jack hammers a rhythmic, rapid fire of resonant tree thud sounds. There's a wonderful sophistication in his expression of simplicity. What a noble pleasure if I could understand him and he compromend me. But his song pattern and mine have no meaning for either one of us, it seems. Simple so sense locked away in the laws of nature only imagined in our dreams. Ah, uh, yes. And I also wonder if that creature has woodpecker dreams. Are they of wood chopping or another friend's mischievous schemes? Well, I try to connect again and aim some words at him and try to say a comment, a brief question, an exclamation, but he quickly darts away. Oh, if we only had the wisdom to understand the woodpecker's tongue, maybe we would have the special secret of life and stay forever young. The Crocodile. The ancient wise voice of the reptile crocodile with his all-powerful jaw. One of Mother Nature's most formidable, fearless creatures that ever I saw. Well, he utters an authoritative message with his deep, cavernous expressions. And those growls absolutely demand and insist on your immediate attention. I tremble with that nerve-rattling monster Harley motorcycle rumble and fearfully have to frantically flee, not wishing to fumble or stumble. I sense an archaic, deep abiding fear of the message I think he means to say. I suspect a depth of knowledge, but I'm still driven, desperate to get far, far away. But maybe, perhaps it's possible. I have this Croc's message misconstrued. And his expressions are simply sage words of endearment, not wishing to be rude. Oh, if we only had the wisdom to understand the crocodile's bold monologue, then we might have the delightful joy of understanding the noble frog. The voice. Double fold thought vibrations emanate wobbly sound waves emerging as talk, song, laughter, crying, shouting, or rants and raves. Well, sometimes the mortal voice could be a joyful expression of oral art. However, if these utterings were void of meaning and not from the heart, they're just random raindrops on barren soil on a cloudless, sunless day, puffing up little dust clouds, then simply sinking and going away. But if one's words, thought, or expressions are comprehended by even a few, it seems to me it would be a wonder, amazing, yet a mystery, even if true. I imagine this temporal, spiritual world of ours could be a much better place if we truly understood one another in word, song, and surely face to face. So see, See if benevolence, kindness, and gratitude permeate your words, too. Folks will listen, smile, and be thankful they heard the real muse in you. If we could learn from the crocodile's jaw and the woodpecker's tongue, perhaps we might understand all creatures' voices and songs that they sung. Words in the water. Words on the wind. Words from deep in the soul. From Mother Earth's room. Infinite variety, without end. <laughs>